good. So I'm going to hold up the camera. I can hear you just fine. I can hear you just fine. Now, can you introduce yourself to the good people out there? All right. I'm Carl Mead. I teach English at Northampton High School. Cool. Excellent. And you will be teaching, some of your classes will be freshman classes, right? Do you know how many you have? Three of my classes. Okay, great. And so tell us a little bit about freshman English. Like, what do you guys do in freshman English? What's the goal? Yeah, the way that we've structured the course in the past has been to work on the different kinds of writing that we'll be doing. And, uh, you know, so writing arguments, writing more analytical essays, but also writing stories and trying to pair those with good uh, books and stories and poems and what other texts that we can read as a class and discuss them uh, together. And what's one of your favorite texts that you do freshman year? One of my favorites is Of Mice and Men. It's often uh, one that we'll do early on and it's, I've read it a million times at this point, but every single time the story gets me, mm-hmm. it really takes me on its journey. Yeah, uh, Steinbeck is such a uh, such a great writer. You okay. know? I mean, yeah. I personally think I mean this argument. I, Grapes of Wrath might be the great American novel. I feel it like. is one of the best. Yeah, and now reading that now is particularly relevant. I feel like right. Absolutely. Yeah. By the way, I know we shouldn't be doing this while I'm just interviewing, but it shows how colleagues speak. Great book for you to read if you get a chance. It's called The Worst Hard Time. It's by Timothy Where? Egan, and it's about the Dust Bowl and it will knock your socks off. I it's appreciate a, it. It's a great complimentary read to Grapes of Wrath because you're like, oh my God. And you know, with environments changing, yeah. global warming, I mean, it's all there and the Great Depression. It's all great, the economic discomforts going on right now. Oh yeah. It, yeah. yeah they do, he's such a great writer. Um, so can you tell us what you were like as a freshman going into high school? Where, where were you and what were you like? So I grew up in Chelmsford, Mass. And I went there for high school. My ninth grade uh, was the only year I did not have a beard in high school. (laughs) Um, But other than that, I was pretty much me. Uh, Dorky Carl, I wore a tie-dye t-shirt just about every day. Um, Things I made myself and loved marching band and uh, the debate club I was in. Um, I had fun as a freshman, I'll be honest. That's cool. That's cool. Now, here's a little side story. Your father, your mm-hmm. father taught Latin at the high school I went to. Yes. And your father, and I want you to talk to you because you're going to see him this week, your father confiscated from me a squirt gun that had a bad, yeah. battery-powered squirt gun. And I think, believe it or not, this is the amazing thing, it was my last day of high school, so why a senior would be running around with a squirt gun in high school is a big mystery to me. And that, that's, <laughs> that's me. And I, you can tell him this because I think statute of limitations has expired on this. But I actually went into his room and took it out of his desk. <laughs> so that's really bad. Take care of that. That'll freshman, be something for him. Incoming freshman, that's bad behavior. But listen, we're all human. We've all been there. So um what is um what's your advice for any freshman coming in like what would you say to them that's going to make this year a little uh, more productive or easier i know that this is hard advice to follow in a pandemic um but finding groups of people that you have common interests with um anytime you can share a goal with people you know whether that is um, you know, part of being part of a team, your goal being to win the game. Or uh, if you have the goal of um, talking about a certain topic every week with some group of people, you know, having those sorts of clubs and communities, I think, is the big, big difference maker in high school to begin with. Mm-hmm. And I think especially in these times when we're all in our own little bubbles, I think that that is what you need to do in order to best take care of yourself. Oh, I couldn't agree more. That's another book. I don't know if you read Sebastian Younger's Tribe, but that's a great book. I recommend right. that. And it's all about that. It's all about community. Um, I think it's a great idea. And our committee is working on making sure that that's going to happen this year as well. Now, I hear what you're saying, too. It can happen informally. It can happen formally. But we're going to try to make sure the clubs run you know and yeah. and yeah and have their experience so i couldn't agree with you more about that and i feel like my the happier students i have are the ones who really throw themselves in and get involved and we have so many choices 
and yeah. you know it's just amazing so i yeah. think that's great advice what's one thing you're excited about teaching remotely is there anything that new tool that you want to use or that you're getting excited about that's a tough one i know it really is I had a lot of fun playing around with Google Classroom this past spring, and I know that's not an exciting one, so let me think for a second. Well, you know, I actually, I'm going to want some advice on that at some point, so. Okay. Um, I was using Schoology, and I'll be on Google okay. Classroom. Have you seen Edpuzzle? Have I seen what? Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle. It's uh, I looked at that for a little bit. Um, I kind of like the idea of being able to break things up like that, uh, mm -hmm. so that, that could be an interesting one, um, especially loading your own things. Uh, yes, for that. yeah. that's right. That's right. I think it can be really useful. Well, you know, we'll, we'll get through this and we'll get everyone back in the same room at some point. I think, you know, you're an English teacher. I'm a history teacher. I think all teachers. But um, I know for my part, like, it's all about the room, you know, not all about the room. A lot of it's about the room. So and I think we can do a good job trying to catch up with that. All right, well, yeah. thank you for joining us. You freshmen who get Mr. Mead, you're very lucky to get Mr. Mead. Don't forget to talk to your dad about this work on, okay? Of course. Thanks for having me, Norm. Awesome.